Chapter 18, Part 1. We're going to start off with some words that aren't explained a whole lot in the, uh, uh, the textbook, but they come up often enough that we ought to pay attention to them. We're going to look at uh, the word tell and the expression tell que. Now, the word tell basically means such or such as. For example, mille euros, je n'ai pas une telle somme. A thousand euros, I don't have such a, a sum. So the idea, such a sum, un tel sum, um, is, is the idea. Tel que means such as. Je viens tel que je suis. I'm coming just as I am, or such as I am. Uh, either one uh, would, would work that way. Uh, I'm coming such as I am, or just as I am. Now, Tell agrees in gender and number with a noun it modifies or refers to. So we've got tell, tell feminine, tell masculine plural, and tell feminine plural, kind of the usual changes. It's, it's not like two where, the, uh, where we've got some unexpected uh, spellings. So we can have uh, a sentence like tell ont été ses vacances. And so tell here is feminine plural because it's describing vacations. Such has been his vacation or such was his vacation. The, the passe composé we would translate as was there. Such was his vacation or that's how his vacation was. Now here's another example. Plusieurs personnes tel que Marc et Jean sont venus. So here we've got several persons such as Mark and John came. So or several people came, such as Mark and John. So what, what's happening here? The tell is plural feminine because it's describing person, even though Mark and John are both uh, masculine. So it's describing the adjective uh, person, so that's why it agrees in that gender and number, even though the, the people are, are masculine. Here's some expressions having to do with tell and tell que. Tell et tell means such and such or so and so. Et puis tell et tell professeur prendra la parole. And then such and such a professor will start speaking. Prendre la parole means we'll start speaking. We'll take the, that's the future. Prendre la parole means to, literally to take the word to start speaking. So, and then such and such a professor will start speaking, describing something that's going to happen at some ceremony. Or something. Tell ou tell means such or such or can be such and such. J'agirai de telle ou telle façon selon les circonstances. I will act in such or such a way according to the circumstances. So kind of like this generic placeholder that where you have something specific in mind but you don't want to say what it's going to be. Tel quel means as is, all by itself. Je vous vends la maison tel quel. I'm selling you the house as it is. Um, you'll sell a car in as is condition or a house, something like that. Tant que tel uh, means in itself or such as it is. Les règles du grammaire français, tel que tel, ne sont pas difficiles. The rules of French grammar in themselves are not difficult. Um, the, the meaning, the idea that the, the look at the rules one by one and by, and by themselves are not too complicated. It's just when you've got to put them all together and have, you've got to deal with 15 different rules in one sentence that they start getting a bit complex. But in themselves, they're not that complex. Telma means so used as an adverb. Je suis tellement content de les voir. I am so happy to see them. All right, let's get back to the textbook now and look at some uh, expressions with prendre. Um, so prendre generally means to take. Now prendre a is a little different than what we would expect in English. It means to take from somebody, like to steal, that type of taking you know, away from. Je, vi, je lui prends le livre. I take the book from him. 
So that's a that's a tricky one because we think, oh, that's like I bring the book to him. No, it's I take the book from him. Um, prendre garda means to take care to or to watch out for, and it can be something either positive or negative. Il prend garde à lire le texte entier. He takes care to read the whole text. So that's good. Reading the whole text is good, and he's careful to do that. Prend garde au chien. Watch out for the dog. Oh, the dog is dangerous. You need to, to watch out uh, for that. So prendre garde can take something either positive or negative, meaning that we need to pay attention to it. Prendre garde de is kind of a literary form of saying the same thing. It generally means uh, the same thing. There might be a few expressions where it's a bit different. Now here's some more expressions. Here's the sans prendre a. And we've seen, again, expressions that are reflexive with a pronoun en that don't necessarily uh, uh, refer to anything. And sans prendre a someone means to find fault with, to, to blame. Ne t'en prends pas à moi, don't blame me. So here we've got a negative imperative with ne and pa around sans prendre a. So don't blame me. Or don't don't find fault with me. See, prendre pour is to go about doing something. Comment on s'y prend pour réussir sa vie? How does one go about being successful in life? So here's some exercises, and when you've written down your answers, check them with the next video.